Hello friends, hope you are doing good. In this video, we are going to learn about the installation of SSL certificate on the Apache web server. First of all, we are going to generate a self-signed certificate using OpenSSL command. So let me explain this command. Uh, it's open SSL request 509 is the certificate type uh, we are going to generate new key with RSA 4096 4096 is the length of the key then uh, we define the key name then we define the uh, certificate name uh, then we define the encryption algorithm and uh, the validity of certificate this certificate will be valid for 365 days so let's execute this command it's asking for uh, password of the private key re-enter the same password now it's asking for uh, your uh, country code province name, city name, company name, organization name, server host name. It's uh, important thing you are going to define your domain name or your server's host name. I am going to define this domain. Then your email address. All this information will be binded with the SSL certificate. So please enter it carefully. Now you can see the uh, certificate and key file generated. So let's copy those files to the slash etc ssl directory both files copied to the ssl directory now let's deploy this certificate on apache web server currently the ssl module is not uh, installed on my server you need to install it using yum command let's verify that my server is not listening on SSL port you can see it's currently refusing the connection I'm going to install mod underscore SSL it's Apache module used for SSL configurations the module has been installed let's restart the server now let's tell net the port it's now uh, accepting the 443 connections So let's deploy our certificate. Now you can see ssl.conf file has been created in conf.d directory. Open this file and search for key and certificate. This is the uh, certificate file. Let's comment it. and uh, define your file here server.crt define the private key here
so guys it's done let's restart the apache now it's asking for the same password you entered at the time of creation of certificate use the same password it will ask every time so let's remove this password from the key file again go to the ssl directory now we are going to execute this command to remove the ssl passphrase we are going to input old key file and save it to the new key file again enter the password now the new key file has been created with the name server1.key let's copy this key file to the old key file now let's restart the apache again So you can see that now it's not asking for the password. So let's test the HTTPS URL. Uh, my domain example.com is already hosted, uh, routed to the local host. So let's test the URL. Curl HTTPS colon example.com Now you can see this error is due to self-signed certificate. We can bypass this warning using insecure CV. It's actually self-signed certificate and uh, it will throw a SSL warning. If you buy a proper signed certificate from any authority, it will not uh, prompt for this warning. So let's use insecure switch to bypass the SSL validation. So you can see it's now accepting the SSL traffic and it's uh, uh, serving on HTTPS URL. So guys, uh, I think this tutorial is good enough to understand the deployment of SSL certificates. Thanks for watching this video, kindly subscribe our channel for further updates.